Hi everyone and welcome to the Massman YouTube channel. In this video today we are going to be looking at adding and subtracting mixed numbers and improper fractions. We're going to look at three example questions in total. The first one is going to be adding two mixed numbers together. The second example is going to be again adding two other mixed numbers together but this is slightly harder. And then the video will finish with us subtracting an improper fraction from a mixed number. So there's lots of complicated maths to do there. Now, if you already know how to do these things, but you know a friend that uh, doesn't know, then you can help them by sharing this video. And if you are new to this channel and you would like to see more maths videos on a weekly basis taught by a qualified primary school teacher, then hit that subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell. So this is a relatively easy uh, first question. And um, when we're adding two mixed numbers like this, the first thing to do is just to add the whole numbers. So three and one, that gives me four. So I've got four holes. Now I just have to deal with the fractions. But the two fractions that I have uh, with different denominators. So I must change them so they have a common denominator. Now, I'm going to keep one tenth the same and I'm going to, uh, I'm going to change one fifth into two tenths. If you don't know how I got two tenths, then I just m multiplied five by two and one by two. And then I change one fifth into two tenths and one tenth into one tenth. And then all I do is add those two fractions together and that gives me three tenths. Now, if you found that easy, do stick with it because it does get harder. In this next example, I've got three and three quarters, add two whole ones and two fifths. So just like in the previous question, I'm going to add the three and the two together to give me five whole ones. And then I'm going to add the fractions. But again, they have different denominators. So I need to change them. So three quarters. Um, and two fifths. So I've got to think of a common multiple between four and five. So to make it easy, I'm going to change them into twentieths. Because I know that four is in the 20 times table and I know that five is in the 20 times table. How many times did I multiply four to make it 20? Well, I multiplied it by five. So I've also got to multiply this number by five, the numerator. So three times five is 15. Three quarters has now been changed into 15 twentieths. How many times did I have to multiply 5 to change it to 20? I had to multiply it 4 times. So I've also got to multiply the numerator by 4. 2 times 4 is 8. So now I have them both in with the same denominator. 15 twentieths add 8 twentieths makes 23 twentieths. But now I've got a problem because I have an improper fraction and I'm not allowed to write the answer as 23 twentieths, so 5 and 23 twentieths. This is not allowed to be an improper fraction. So what I need to do is I need to convert this, okay, I need to convert this into a mixed number. So it's 1 and 3 twentieths. And what I can do then is I can add this whole number and this whole number together to give me six. And this isn't the fraction anymore. It's three twentieths. So that's the final answer there, six and three twentieths. So three and three quarters, add two and two fifths, make six and three twentieths. In the final question in this video, we have a takeaway question this time. We have three whole ones and one quarter take away 17 sixths. So because I have an improper fraction and a mixed number, I have to change them um, into either um, both of them to be mixed numbers or both of them to be improper fractions. 
Okay, now I'm going to go and change them into improper fractions instead. So this is already an improper fraction, so that's going to remain 17 sixths. Now, to change three and a quarter into improper fraction, I'm going to use the four, because I have to, and do three times four, that is 12, add one makes 13. So 13 quarters take away 17 sixths. I still can't do this though because I've got quarters and sixth and I need them both to be um, the same denominator. So I need to think of a common multiple of four and six. And I know that the four and the six are both in the 12 times table. So I've got to change this into twelfths now. This should be easy because six doubled is 12. So 17 doubled is 34. So now I have it in twelfths. 13 quarters. How many times did I have to multiply four to change it to 12? I had to multiply it three times. So I also have to multiply this number by three. And that gives me 39. So now I'm doing 39 twelfths take away 34 twelfths. And that gives me an answer of 5 twelfths. And that is the final answer.